Hello again! So today we're going to take a look at this Toyota Hi-Ace from Majorette. I'm going to take it on as another uh, 3D printing project for the wheels. I like this picture behind, you know. I'm not going to buy the Tarmac Works one that, that recently came out, the modified one. I just don't like the roof rack on the thing. But hopefully Tarmac Works will make something that looks like this picture. But for the meantime, you know, I just picked up this Majorette pretty cheap. And uh, I'm not sure if it's to scale, so that's the first thing I want to check here. So, uh, the Hi Ace uh, has spanned six generations of vehicles. It started way back in 1967, but what we're looking at is the fifth generation, which is known as the H200 series. And that this first came out in 2004 and was running up until 2019 when the latest sixth generation came out. And what I, what I found odd about this car is it's only powered by inline four-cylinder engines. Either two up to three liter engines, some might be turbocharged, some might be diesel, or some might be both, I'm guessing. But it's a pretty large van. I kind of would have guessed that they would have had six-cylinder engines in these, but to my understanding, only four cylinders. So these things are probably pretty slow. Uh, in 2008, this was Japan's number one stolen vehicle because this thing had no uh, theft immobilizer, so it was really easy for people to steal these things. Anyone outside of North America might have never even seen this vehicle, but if you've ever been to Asia, I'm pretty sure this might be the most popular car sold in Asia. Well, the most popular van sold in Asia. So that's all I have for the uh, statistics on this thing. Other than I thought it was interesting that Mazda has a version called the Bongo Brawny. I think that'd be cool to have a Bongo Brawny. Okay, so let's get into the casting because I am noticing this is messed up. I don't know what this white stuff is here. It's a shame. I actually bought this from a toy shop and I picked this one out of like maybe 20 models because the uh, badges look really good. But uh, you can't see this side of the card, you know, because it's cardboard. And unfortunately... <laughs> I got this giant white thing here. I don't know if it's paint or what. I might have to try to polish that out with some of the Tamiya polish. And then I'm noticing, look at this. That is messed up too. So that's a shame. I couldn't see that through the plastic packaging. All right, that's too bad. So Majorette, your paint uh, quality is a bit lacking. Okay. So let's look at this side here. Obviously it's gonna roll really nice. Um, these wheels, are, they're okay actually. I just hate the exposed axles, so I'm gonna do my own little wheel set. Thinking something more like VIP style, but different. Anyways, alright, so we do have some painted on door handles. You know, they're black, that's good. I do find the panel eyes to be acceptable. They're, they're a little wide, but uh, this is not an expensive model. Unfortunately, the windows here, you know, you have molding in there, but there's no black painted on there to show the black graphic on the real windows. I don't know if I'm going to try to paint that myself because this thing is riveted together. I guess it's only one rivet. Maybe I will take it apart. But anyways, if anyone's curious about the bottom of this thing. So this is 169 scale it's saying. Eh, I didn't even need my calipers. Alright, well let's go to the front here. So this is a nice fully printed badge. I found like half of the models I looked at in the store. The printing was blurry, but this one is actually quite crisp. But if you buy this online, there's a good chance these graphics are going to be blurry a little bit. I do like the uh, plastic lenses, of course. And uh, I do like this ribbing here in the grill and these tiny vents here. Seems to be a little black printed here. And unfortunately, right here again, the paint is actually chipped off there. Wow, so even though I cherry-picked this from a shop, the blister is so uh, distorted, I, could, I couldn't even see these three blemishes. That's a shame. All right, well up here we got some three-dimensional uh, wiper blades, but no paint. So maybe I'll hit that with like a black Sharpie or something or a paint pen. All right, a little black in there, that's good. So yeah, this side is nice because this is the side I could see the best in the packaging. But what's odd is uh, this is a flat graphic here on this door, but on this side it's three-dimensional. So I don't understand why that would be there. Maybe it's not even a door. Uh, I don't know. In Asia, the door would be on this side because they drive on the uh, left side of the road. So, well, anyways. All right, let's get to the back. So, yes, the printing is very nice here because I saw this through the blister pack. But, like I said, a lot of these here would be blurry. Third brake right is printed on. And the taillights are printed pretty nice. 
I mean, it's not a lens, unfortunately, but this isn't an expensive model either. And you will see there's actually all the interior seats. So this thing has three, three, two, and then two. So this this is a commuter vehicle for sure. A little taxi bus for maybe kids to get to school or something, or a tour, tourist van or something. So, yeah, unfortunately, <laughs> I picked the wrong one. It's a darn shame. I'm going to see if I can maybe polish that out. Mm, too bad. All right, so, well, as usual, well, actually, you know what? Let's compare some sizes here. I don't have many vans, but this is a pretty big van. Uh, we'll start with the small one. Here's a uh, TLV Town Ace. This is a classic one. And actually, in the lineup of Toyotas, this is the mid-tier. The light Ace is the smallest one, but I'm not sure if that's even produced anymore. And then the high Ace is going to say the top-end size uh, van. Actually, technically, it's not the top-end, the uh, Alpard or Alphard and the Velfire, I think, are their top ends, but I think they're based on, on this. Well, also, the Majesty is based on the newest uh, High Ace. Okay, well, anyway, so there's a size comparison there. Obviously, big difference. Anyone in the European countries or US, you might recognize this thing. So, obviously, this being an older van, it's pretty narrow and not so tall. It's a lot smaller, you know, being based on a Beetle. But, any North Americans, or anyone watches TV, I pity the fool that doesn't know this. Um, yeah, if you're going to be abducting people, you want to have a, a Vandora. But if you want to be carrying a lot of people, you want to probably have a high ace. Okay, so uh, now let me uh, pause the video and we'll come back with some new wheels. Okay, and I'm back with some new wheels here. So what I was thinking about this design is, uh, you know, this is not going to be a race car ever with a four-cylinder engine and being a massive van. So I was going for more of a VIP style where it's uh, blocked off a lot. And literally I took the blocking thing to an extreme where I have a bunch of blocks cutting into the wheel and then I have a bunch of blocks actually coming out of the wheel. And then this is a three-piece rim so I got all the little bolts going around the perimeter. And it is a little concave as well. So. That was my thinking there, and um, I ended up upsizing the tires here as well. I'll show you the original wheels if you guys are curious. It's kind of, it might be hard to actually tell, but you know, I don't have to see the axle anymore. Um, I realized when I took the thing apart that uh, there's a spring holding these axles down, so this car actually has suspension like a TLV, so that's pretty interesting. Basically, if you see the bottom of a majorette with this kind of bottom, hole here and you see a shiny rod going through it it's that rod that is holding the axles down so you know you're going to get a suspension car if you see that on the bottom of a majorette or at least that's what i saw here maybe i'll actually upload the picture of the inside so to get a better understanding of what i'm talking about uh i did manage to you know sand down i took some uh 2000 grit sandpaper and sanded down that imperfection and then I polished with like 10 Q-tips and the uh, good old Tamiya f compound finish. And uh, yeah, I got most of it out. In certain lights, I guess it's not perfect, but it's good enough for a majorette. So if you look at the image behind, I was really going for something lowered more. But then when I realized the thing had suspension, I can't actually lower sink the tires inside the uh, body because also the interior piece is resting right here on the wheel well it's creating a wheel well fender so unless I cut the interior up I can't actually sink the tires up inside the, the wheel well so if you guys are thinking about customizing this this car that's uh, the issues I ran into so that is it for today's custom job I, I guess I'm pretty happy with it it wasn't a very expensive model to get and uh, I think for the price it was pr it's a pretty good model and then uh, with some custom wheels you know I like it even more okay so that's it I guess I'll uh, be living in a van down by the river that's Chris Farley from uh, Saturday Night Live bye